you know, we, we were talking about uh, your hospital, uh, obviously, earlier, and you mentioned your mother's death had played a role um, in that she apparently ha had a stroke but uh, was unable to make it you to the hospital. hospital. Explain why. Um, there's no ambulance system until 99, 2000, when I started uh, installing ambulances in the capital city, there was never the ambulance system. So that can tell you just the work that our foundation have been doing. Our hospital got more than five ambulances, which serve the community and the people outside the community. But there was no ambulance system in the capital city of more than 12 million people. And not only that, um, what would have happened if somebody had tried to take her to the hospital at that time? My dad tried, but by that time it was a curfew. Um, it was not, it was just a bad time. It was a curfew that time he passed away. It, and uh, the, my dad couldn't leave the house. Away. He was asked to go back inside. How much do you think her, her passing was a result of not having the access to proper medical care? It's still hard to my family. It's still very hard because we believe that uh, she could have been safe. It was, uh, she was just uh, saying, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm not feeling well. So I think uh, if they could have taken her to Galema, which is a uh, two blocks away from the hotel where we're staying, which is another good hospital for rich people. Um, it could have been five minutes away from, uh, from my parents' home. And, uh, it could be safe. And that, that would have made all, all the difference in, in the world. Uh, how much incentive does that provide you uh, with what you're doing w with your hospital to avoid uh, other people having to go through a similar situation? Save many mothers. Trying to save as many mothers as I can. And uh, I will try my best to the day I'm no longer here. Uh, I don't want no other kids to lose their mother from those same circumstances. That's why we have best trained doctors, better intensive care union, uh, trying to put as many medical equipment, high technology in this hospital, bring all the best doctors from the United States and Europe uh, to Congo to work with our team uh, and to make them learn to tell me what we need and what we don't need. In, in taking it from concept to reality, what was the biggest challenge? Raising money. Really? It was a pain in the butt. <laughs> That's the reason why I end up cutting a $23 million checks. $23 million. To cut to build the hospital. And what was the total cost? Total cost was like about 30 some plus million. Then uh, launching the operation for the first three, four years, the cost was maybe another $10 million. Wow. So we raised about 40 some million dollars plus. Was it harder than you expected to raise the money? I think it was hard because I think I made a mistake in the end. Uh, I was a professional basketball player making million, million dollars a year. And I, I felt at the beginning that maybe uh, if I gave myself a couple of millions and uh, I announced to the world I'm building a hospital, the rest of the NBA players was just going to be walking at the door, right. handling me a checks. And uh, I, I was wrong.